And uh, this is very interesting, by the way. So from here you can see hangars, the one with Ruslan and the one with uh, Maria, the biggest airplane in the world. And you can see those holes that were made the very first day in the morning by their attack helicopters. So those helicopters were coming from this direction and uh, they were opening fire at these structures uh the first and the second hangar so from my position i couldn't uh, see maria but i saw a huge cloud of smoke uh coming from the, uh, that area and uh, i decided that uh, they must have uh, hit some kind of fuel storage or something like that but in fact that was maria burning hi everyone operator starsky here behind my back there's a school in hostomel a uh, school for all kinds of grades, like elementary school, uh, higher grades, like uh, 10th, 11th grade. And uh, this trench um, is made on the children's stadium, stadium behind this school. And exactly here you can see their artillery positions made for Russian mortars uh, like uh, 20 or 30 something meters from school so basically we can tell that uh, this school was used as uh, their uh, barracks let's call it this way and uh, those trenches were made very close to school so they could easily get to those trenches and get to their artillery that was stationed in this trench. Again, this is their position, uh, this trench made for their vehicle. Obviously, uh, their BMD uh, used by, by airborne troops. And uh, of course it was uh, located very close to their temporary barracks made in this school so you can see that yard where children used to play before this invasion and um, this uh, um, this field I mean this stadium uh, was used by kids as well as uh, our troops that were stationed there on the base so we used to, to play uh, football or soccer um, and uh, we used to play together with kids uh, from uh, higher grades um, and uh, we used to run around the stadium together with kids again when we had uh, PT. So here you can see um, this trench made for Russian BMD vehicle, uh, a football that was stolen obviously from school and this banner saying kids are our future and basically this was a playground that again was turned into positions used by russian soldiers you can see a lot of trenches here as well as this uh, big round trench used by their artillery um, so obviously they had a mortar over here and you see that uh, this uh, trench is reinforced with all the all those things uh, that were taken from this playground uh, these are Russian uh, ammo boxes of means uh, uh, fragment shells um, and you can see basically what they have turned this playground into. Um, there's a lot of mess, a lot of garbage left by Russian soldiers. Uh, some kind of uniform. Russian ratio, it's in Russian language, saying uh, those, those words are saying uh, tomatoes. So they obviously 
had lunch here uh, they used this pot in order to prepare their food so here you can see Russian butter and uh, all kinds of remains of Russian ratio there was another trench uh, in the basement of the school and of course you can see this uh, Russian swastika uh, this water in the basement was obviously prepared for kids because again uh, the basement of this school uh, was obviously used as a shelter and uh, you can see that Russians played with the children toys that were taken from uh, classes from those classrooms um, this is a Ukrainian boot that was stolen from our base because Russian boots obviously are very bad um, and actually we've had a lot of cases when Russians were wearing Ukrainian underwear and Ukrainian boots because they are of much better quality um, you can see remains of Russian ratio here those cookies and stuff and yeah and they also stole this uh, toy from some of the classrooms the underwear that is used by National Guard of Ukraine and uh, obviously they took it from our base that is located behind this building uh, way behind this building so uh, they brought it here so they obviously used our uh, underwear uh, because it's uh, of a much better quality than what is offered by uh, Russian army you can see that this trench for Russian mortar was made right behind the swings and uh, again this is remain of Russian uh, ratio those Russian cookies some spoon that was left here obviously by Russian troops and uh, basically this is the front entrance to the school uh, you can see that Russians were barricaded inside they used those um, those are actually beds taken from elementary school I'm talking first grades and uh, they used those beds to barricade this hole I think they made it uh, in order to bring uh, some uh, specific equipment inside uh, probably high caliber uh, machine guns or something like that this is the front entrance you can see it's also barricaded with what they were able to find inside you can see that russian swastika that v sign left by russian troops and uh, here you can see that they uh, attempted to make another trench uh, right here and uh, you know uh, i'm talking a lot to people from west and uh, they simply cannot believe that in 21st century russian troops could uh, perform all those atrocities and stuff like that so they can't believe literally that russians uh, did their positions um, in such areas as playgrounds schools and stuff like that people used to say that it must be ukrainian propaganda you know uh, trying to show russians uh, as you know very gross beings uh, and obviously they uh, couldn't do all that but uh, here in ukraine it doesn't surprise us because we've had that neighbor for centuries and we know what they are capable of you know so it doesn't surprise us uh, you didn't have such a neighbor for centuries you didn't fight with them for centuries like we did here um, that's why we are not surprised with what they did in Hostomel in Bucha 
in Matyzhyn and other places in Ukraine. I'm Operator Starsky and thanks for watching.